good morning and welcome to this episode of fathers and sons today we'll learn about a very interesting topic we parents we give birth to children from day one we know them we are the cause for their birth so when they grow up definitely we do all the things for them taking care of them nourishing them feeding them clothing them putting them in the best schools you know sometimes parents take a lot of pride in making their children dress well do well behave well so many things all what they do the credit goes to us now some parents what they do is in all their hell they make their children obliged to them they make their children obliged to them so the children are uh, actually controlled in a in another way my friends today we should learn that we should not make our children obliged to us in fact they should love us so we have to love our children unconditionally now jesus christ when he loved us he had no conditions attached he never wanted us to love him back he never told hey i am i have done all these things now you have to do all these things no that is not the love of the bible the bible doesn't talk about that love bible talks about agape love now you and i may think is it is it possible for me to love like christ is it possible for me to behave like jesus yes it is possible let us read romans chapter 5 verse 5 it says through the holy spirit the love of god is poured into our hearts so our hearts become a vessel for all the love of god into us so please understand if you are a father or a mother you don't have the love of parents in fact you have love of jesus christ the love of jesus christ is different love of parents is different now wherever you go especially in our country we always make mother as a symbol of love called mother's love but the truth is according to the bible mother's love is a weak love because mother's love can change now god's love is a strong love because god's love never changes so you and i we need to love our children with agape love unconditional love so that even in the future if they choose not to love us they are free to do it without any guilt it is something which you and i we need to demonstrate to our children definitely i tell you because jesus christ loved us unconditionally we also love him unconditionally in the same way when you love your children unconditionally they will also love you back unconditionally always understand this never make your children obliged to us it is a way of controlling today i have seen so many children they feel obliged to their parents they they always tell you know oh when i was small she did all these things huh because she did all these things i have to do all these things because my dad did these things i have to do these things my friends today let us be very careful today children are obliged in what job to take what salary to take how to marry what to do what not to do they are so obliged they controlled by the parents my friends today if you are a godly parent you be far away from all this control business i'll tell you never make your children obliged to you by making them obliged to you you are actually becoming a wrong influence in their lives and it will go on and on always make your children free always tell them, Oh whatever love you have received from appa and amma you go and love everybody the same love you give to people that is what you have to say always never make your children obliged may the lord bless you as you follow these things let's pray heavenly father we have received an unconditional love from you today help us to love unconditionally our kids so that they will not be obliged to us but they will be obliged to you they will be filled with god's love for everyone in 
in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.